Hi, this is Josh from Pinoco, and today I want to show you how to combine shapes in Illustrator for laser cutting with Pinoco. To do this, we'll be using three key menu commands. The first is Object Group. The second, Effect, Pathfinder, Add. And the third is Object Expand Appearance. Before we look at this process in greater detail, let's check out an example of shapes in Illustrator which have been combined incorrectly for laser cutting with Pinoco. At first glance, this looks perfect for laser cutting. There's a thin blue line which traces around the letters on the top and a rectangular base on the bottom. However, if we use the Select All command, you'll see that all is not what it seems. Another way to look at what is really in this file is to use the View Outline command. This reveals the true vector content of a file and lets us know what will actually be made. In this case, what it has revealed is that these letters and this rectangle are not truly connected. What I have done instead is to place white fills of the blue lines in my design that I did not want cut out, which unfortunately would not have worked. When it comes to cutting lines and vector engraving lines, the laser will cut or engrave them wherever they are present in the design even if they are covered by something else. The white fills that I placed over these cutting lines would have been ignored and the lines underneath them would have still been cut. So, let's combine these shapes correctly. The first thing we do is select all of the shapes we want to combine together. We then use the object group command, which you've probably used before. Next, effect Pathfinder, Add. The Pathfinder effect lets you create new shapes out of overlapping objects, which is exactly what we want. Finally, we use the Object Expand Appearance command, which turns the Pathfinder effect into true vector information. Leaving out this step would be the same as using the white fills to cover the lines. Now when we use the Select All command, there is nothing highlighted between the pieces we wanted to combine. We can also change to View Outline and see that these letters and the rectangle below are truly a single vector object. Once again, this outline view is a true representation of what will be laser cut, and this time it's what we want. Let's go through this process one last time. We'll open a new Pinoco template and create a collection of overlapping shapes which are formatted to be laser cut with Pinoco. So now we've got something vaguely arty. Let's turn it into a single object for laser cutting. First, we select all of the shapes that we've laid over each other. Next, we use the Object Group command. We follow it up with the Effect Pathfinder Add command. And finally, the Object Expand Appearance command. All of these shapes have now been combined into a single object ready for laser cutting with Pinoco. We'll do a final double check by using the view outline command, and it's definitely correct. So that's all there is to it. I hope that this technique might be helpful to you in the future for making new, exciting projects with Pinoco. Thanks!